We do real-time artificial intelligence for predictive maintenance. We specialize in IoT data, and we deliver what you need to know when you need to know it. What is the market opportunity? So the Internet of Things is huge and a lot of people have heard about it. In just the area of predictive maintenance, the market opportunity is expected to be $24 billion and growing at a compound annual growth rate of 30%. Predictive maintenance basically means fixing something before it's broken. Traditionally, people go out and look at machines to see if they're operating okay. What we're doing is putting sensors on the machines so that people don't have to go out and look at them, and putting lots of different sensors on the machines so that we can get a signal way ahead of the machine breaking that there's a problem to be able to plan to fix it and make sure that there aren't unplanned outages or uh, failures or costly repairs. Even with the machine learning and data scientists that people are starting to employ in predictive maintenance, the limitations are they need to gather all that data in one central place. You have to have a data scientist expert pick out the right algorithms, train the algorithms on the data, and create this static model that helps you detect problems. It's very expensive. It takes a long time for that process to happen. And the problem is that the models that they're building are static. You're always working with stale data. The key things that differentiate us are an artificial intelligence, and the system learns. One of the most important things that it learns based on the data that it gets is what normal is. Um, and we have what is basically a knowledge base of our AI's view of the world. And when new information comes in, it looks at all the information it's got and says, is this normal? Does this match a pattern? And then it puts it in its knowledge base. And so we've got all these independent reasoning agents looking for patterns and building the knowledge base and they can be doing this geographically distributed all across the world and cooperating so when one of them sees a failure they can alert all the others this mesh of distributed uh, hardware that can be tiny microcontrollers to big iron in the data center all working together is something that's unique to us and being able to actually run the artificial intelligence on the smallest computers the size of a quarter is something we do that nobody else does. How do you know you have traction for this product? We've got customers right now. Our biggest customers are telcos that are basically communication providers for the Internet of Things. Uh, that includes Orange and Stream Technologies. We also have customers in the pipeline in a variety of IoT verticals. Manufacturing customers, renewable energy and solar energy and wind turbines. We've got customers in connected car, connected appliance, connected homes, and smart cities. Everybody on our leadership team has at least 25 years in the software industry and a computer science degree. We really are all geeks and enjoy this technology. Our CTO actually has the perfect background for what we do. And when he left to join Sim Similarity full-time, he was a co-CTO at Wind River, one of the premier embedded systems companies. There are only a few people in the world that would be capable of doing what we do. Why should Cisco partner with you? With Cisco, what we want to be able to do is develop a strategic partnership where our software is included in their line of products because they've got uh, almost everything you need to drive value from the Internet of Things except this final piece of predictive analytics. They've built this beautiful fog computing platform and we've got the missing piece that's going to drive that value and make that IoT successful. What is your ask? We're raising a seed round of two million dollars. We've got paying customers, we've got a product that works and this two million dollars will take us to the next level where we can really get out there and sell to the big customers because there's a long sales cycle.
This video highlights a variety of working applications that illustrate the horizontal nature of Simularity's artificial intelligence and its applicability to the Internet of Everything. We partnered with Yamaha to attach air quality sensors to city vehicles gathering real-time data on multiple pollution markers. Data automatically posts to the web so that citizens can get a hyperlocal measure of air quality and sources of air pollution can be pinpointed. Simularity's AI analyzes this data in real time, providing context and insights not available before. Here, our AI automatically created failure signatures from historical sensor data on failed hard drives. Then, it monitors operating drives in real time, looking for similarities to known failure signatures or deviations from normal behavior. This is an example of a doctor using Simularity's predictive archetypes to easily create an understandable predictive model for MRSA infections. Then, she scores all current patients to identify those at highest risk for MRSA so that infections can be prevented before they happen. This is an industrial rock tumbler. We attached a freescale microcontroller running our AI to the machine. In minutes, it learned what the normal vibrations were and without connectivity to any hub, cloud, or network, was able to do real-time learning and anomaly detection on the 16K of memory in this microcontroller. We partnered with B&B SmartWorks who attach new sensors to existing industrial gravel pit equipment. The sensor data was sent to the cloud every five seconds. Our AI automatically learns normal behavior for each sensor on each piece of equipment and continues to get more accurate as more data arrives. Deployment of our software took just three days. In summary, Simularity's artificial intelligence has proven successful in a wide variety of applications.